What is up guys, Jeremy from the New Age. I am back yet again, finally with another video. I'm gonna have a couple of videos I'm gonna drop consecutively here because I just wanna wrap up the whole FIFA tutorial thing. Unless you guys keep hitting me with more questions, in which case I'll keep them coming. I mean, you guys are killing it with the views. I mean, the likes, the views, the comments, you guys are joining my Discord channel, which I do recommend that by the way. Definitely hit that Discord uh, link and join that Discord if you have any questions or just come hang out with us. You know, I, I live stream a lot of Warzone. Uh, occasionally I'll do FIFA or StarCraft or something like that. But, you know, hit the Discord. Trust me. It's pretty cool. We're building the community here. I love it. I love all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Anyway, we're going to do a tutorial today on how to set up auto launch for FIFA. Now, if you are using a PS4 controller, maybe you're coming over from my uh, PS4 controller tutorials on how to get it to work. Um, this is a main part of that. But if you're using an Xbox controller and you don't need to go through that tutorial, this is the tutorial for you. This is how to set up auto launch on FIFA 21 for PC. Let's get it. All right, guys. So again, this is going to be a super quick one. We're going to set up this auto launch. So let's get into it right now. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready? Because I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's make it quick. Quick tutorial. Get in and out right now. Go down to your little file explorer here. See this down here? Click it. This is what you get. Okay. My FIFA game folder is not in my C drive. Yours probably will be. Yours is probably going to be on your, uh, after you click this PC, it's probably going to be in the C drive, program files, somewhere in there. And now if you have Steam, if you have Origin, probably going to be wherever those installs are. Everyone's game folder is usually in a different spot. You're going to have to find it on your own because I don't know your PC. Okay. Mine is on a separate hard drive. I have a separate hard drive. So I'm going to go into my FIFA 21 game folder. Stay with me here. Origin games. Okay. FIFA 21. This is what your FIFA folder will look like no matter where you have it. It says FIFA 21. Click it. Okay. Now, now see this right here. See this FIFA setup. Yep. All right. Click that config. This file right here says config. All right. There it is. Now it is up on my other monitor. I'm going to drag it on over for you. That's right here. Okay. This is what everyone's fee config file looks like. This right here. If you don't have auto launch set up. So what we're going to do, you can see our little cursor here is on this line. Hit enter to go down to the next line in caps, auto underscore launch space equals space number one, just like that. That's it. That's all we're doing. Auto underscore launch equals number one. Got it? Okay. I'm going to save it. I'm going to hit control S to save, or you can just go file, save, and then close it out. Done. Okay. Close this out. Now, this is where it gets different because if you have a PS4 controller and you follow my tutorial, you're going to launch it differently. Launch the game however you normally launch it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to launch it my way. If you have an Xbox controller, you probably don't have to do this, so don't pay attention to it, okay? I launched mine through Steam, so I'm gonna double click Steam. Waiting patiently. All right, so Steam opens, there's the, you know, there's the ad, whatever. Fall, out, Fall Guys is uh, updating, we're gonna ignore that. Okay, big picture mode, this is how I launch my game. I cannot stress enough, you do not have to launch it this way. But if you followed my tutorial, which a lot of you have, this is how I do it. All right, now that I'm in big picture mode, I'm gonna grab my controller here. <laughs> I'm navigating with my, my controller, as you can see. Okay, go to library, FIFA 21. And now we're at this menu right here. This is, again, this is how I launch it. Don't wanna hear it from you guys. Now, I did have somebody accuse me in my last videos in the comments. Probably couldn't follow the steps of the tutorial, got all mad, but he did accuse me. He said, look how he edited the video. There's no way that the game takes that long to launch. Well, with auto launch, it does. So I'm going to talk through this whole thing so you know I'm not editing it and click the play button. Okay. I clicked play. I'm talking through the whole thing. I'm not touching my fucking controller. Here we go. I'm not touching. <laughs> and look at that. 
It took a little while. Wow. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I love you guys too much. All right. You can see where I loaded my controller config. So yeah, you just hit play, it launches it. Now, you don't have to launch it through Steam for it to work. If you set up auto launch, as soon as you click that FIFA EXE, it works. That's it. I told you it was gonna be a short one. That's it, that's, that's how easy it is. Now, if you wanna take off the auto launch, you just go back into that config file, open it up, and delete the auto launch, save it, close it. Then you can get back to your game settings if you need to get to it, it'll launch it. Also, one more thing for those of you, I'm gonna have this timestamp, timestamp it, whatever it is, timestamp it right now, I'm gonna have it in the description, okay? Because you, a lot of you guys don't watch the whole video, you know, and that's fine, you don't have to. But every time FIFA updates, you will have to redo the auto launch steps. That's it, that's all there is to it, easy. All right, so, short tutorial i appreciate all you guys thank you for coming over um thank you for coming over to my discord channel you guys are freaking awesome i love you guys and that's it until next time i'm jeremy peace